I used to see all these stories on Medium, about Medium. People sharing their stats, earnings, what they like and don't like about the platform, and they'd always have tons of engagement. In my mind, I thought that these stories must also be earning a lot of money too. But whenever I tried to write stories about Medium myself, yes, they would get a lot of attention, but they wouldn't earn very much money. And it wasn't until quite recently that I understood why. On Medium, there are a few harmless things that will automatically restrict the reach of your article. Here's what they are and how to avoid them. On Medium, there are three tiers of distribution. Your personal network, which includes those who are following you and the publication you submit your stories to. General distribution, which includes your followers, the followers of the publications you publish in, and people who are interested in the topics you publish your stories in. This is the default setting for all stories on Medium. And when your story is selected for a boost, it is shown as a priority on your reader's homepages and pushed out to an even wider audience. So if you want your story to grow naturally and garner new views, your goal should be at least to keep it at general distribution. And to do that, you should avoid these things. To disincentivize specific types of content, Medium has an AI system that will automatically restrict stories that contain certain triggers. There is a whole list that I will show on the screen as well as link in the description below. But to summarize, this means stories containing clickbait, hate or unconstructive negativity, articles written entirely using AI, stories written in languages other than English, and what Medium calls meta-medium stories. These are stories pertaining specifically specifically to Medium as a platform. So if any of your stories contain any of these triggers, they will automatically be restricted to network only, which is essentially shadow banning. With that said, if you like to write stories about your experience on Medium, you still can be successful doing so. For example, I wrote this story, which has performed very well despite being restricted to network only as it pertains specifically to Medium. Just make sure you have a big enough following to support it or submit to a publication with enough followers to make it worth your while. Okay, that is the end of this video, just a short one today. I really hope you found it valuable. For more tips on Medium, you can check out my library of content and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next. I respond to all comments every week. That's it for me. I appreciate you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.